I'm Mark Meyer Appel, founder of the Bridge Multicultural and Advocacy Project that works with the community with all religions, all races, to unify the community, especially in the time of need, in the time of tragedy for Haiti. We are assembled, all of us here in Europe, as one community to help the impoverished people in Haiti. The project that we put together here is in conjunction with the Council General, Council General Mr. Bernard Esquire, and it's a combination of all community facilities and nonprofit organizations in Brooklyn that have come together, whether they're Christian, whether they're Jewish, whether they're Muslim, all our organizations that are part of the bridge, part of the Brooklyn's community have come together today to support our friends in Haiti. Thank you for what uh, Mark is doing. We thank you for uh, the leadership, even the, the Council General Haiti and the Rabbi and everyone that is joined today in this, in this project. I'm just honored to, to be here, and I know, or, along with a lot of my other elected colleagues in government who couldn't be here today, uh, we stand strong with Haiti. We need medical supplies, band-aids, gauze, we have some donation from many hospitals who have given us equipment, surgical equipment. And I know the Council General, starting tomorrow, and thank you so much Vice Council Rose Guerra for working so hard and making sure that the stuff gets from here to Haiti. I want to thank, of course, the man of the hour, Mark. Mark has been a tremendous, tremendous supporter of Haiti. I met him some months ago and I can tell you I'm, I'm so blessed and happy and I know that the Haitian people are fortified to have a friend like this. Mark, we want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do, for all that you do. I know that the spirit of the Haitian people is again being tested. Uh, the hurricane has brought a lot of uh, tears and sorrow into the hearts, into the homes and death as well to the home and in hearts of the Haitian people. But I believe that the Haitian people's spirit is well and alive. Just as spring is conceived in the womb of winter, the hope of the Haitian people also will grow from their despair. Today, it is important for us to learn some things from this. We must now learn to see things a little differently. Haiti must learn to visit new path, to conceive new ideas, to have, to think about a different future. This experience, just like the one that we had in 2010, must reshape our common destiny. We must reshape our conviction that this is the calling of our generation. I want to thank you on behalf of the Haitian government, and also, I want to thank you on behalf of the Haitian Council. Thank you for all that you do. We love you. We know that Haiti loves New York, and tonight, New York also loves Haiti. It just shows the resilience and the power of people coming together and helping each other. So I pray that the communities that come together here, uh, from all factions, and all different areas of New York and also the United States supporting Haiti and the rest of the world coming together with uh, support so that a uh, tragedy like this uh, can be overcome. Oh. Wait, because you wait. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh. Can you walk me through, once the supplies land in Haiti, how it's going to be distributed and who exactly is going to get it? Uh, there is an agency called the um, Direction of Protection Civil, which is the equivalent of what you have here called FEMA, I mean, to a certain extent. And they will, once it gets there, they will assume the uh, distribution. I can't tell you, I don't know the mechanism, to be honest with you, as to how it will be distributed. But we know one thing, is that this government wants to make sure that we do not re repeat the mistakes of the past. So it is extremely important for us. And this is why the consulates are very involved in this effort, is to ensure that the uh
that it is done properly and there's nobody gets frustrated or none of this stuff goes and stay at, at customs unable to be delivered. So we want to make sure that once we, we have it, we ship it, we ship it to one agency, one entity. You want to name that entity? Uh, uh, civil protection. Okay. Uh, direction of civil protection. And they will then ensure in, you know, that this, in turn, that this is delivered to the people. And this is why the government is so actively involved. We've seen in the past, in 2010, there were different entities, um, organizations, uh, uh, NGOs who were involved and would actually be frustrated. They would get frustrated because they would be unable to, uh, to deliver these things. And even for custom, it was a problem. We learned from that, and, this, and the government wanted to make sure that this does not, this, this not repeat itself. And what airlines are flying in? Uh, no, we're shipping those by car, by uh, on containers. Uh, but they'll be by boat. Oh, I see.